I have a scene here by default, but you can add more scenes by right clicking and then clicking add scene. You'll be prompted with a box to type in a name and you can name this whatever you want but it's good to keep them quite logical to what they actually mean such as when you're playing the game uh, maybe call it main for your main screen um, you could have one called lobby and maybe one called B or well, BRB now we could just delete the main one we could have renamed this as but this is just the default one, we're just going to delete that anyway. Okay, so the main uh, scene, which is highlighted here, you've got the box here that says sources, and immediately when you open a program like this, I'd imagine you're going to be wondering, there's going to be quite a lot of complicated setup, but it's actually incredibly simple. Uh, when I first saw this, I thought, okay, this doesn't look how I imagined it would be. And in fact, some people actually imagine this program to be even more complicated. So. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible by showing you how simple it is. First of all, you want to click Preview Stream. You get a big black screen, and this is now uh, the screen that everybody would see if you were actually broadcasting, which I'm not. Um, if you click on video, no, if you click on video capture device, um, you can name this whatever you want. In this case, it's going to be the webcam, so we're going to call it the webcam or just webcam. You want to select your webcam in this drop down box up here. You can configure your webcam however you want, but however that is right now, we're just going to click OK, it's going to see it appear on the screen. And welcome to my incredibly messy room. Uh, yeah, so if you click edit scene, you'll have the option to scale. You see these four red squares appear in each corner of this which will allow you to rescale it and if you uh, select the top corner of each of these or any of these rather you can click and drag to change the scale of it now here's something that a lot of people don't uh, you know one of the things I learned when I was first streaming is I thought okay so there's all this part over here I don't want I only need me over here so I did this I dragged myself off the screen and then I was like thinking, okay, well that works, but now I'm stuck on the side of the screen, and if I did want to be over here, what would I do? Would I just flip my screen around? No. The actual easiest way to solve this problem is actually to hold Alt, which is the Alt key, um, and then select the side, and you can actually just drag it in. Now my green screen isn't shaped properly right now, it's sideways, but you know you wanna you wanna make sure you got some space for your arms to move around and stuff. But because I haven't laid that out properly, I'm just gonna crop it in further than I'd like. And then put it down here and scale it up to however big you want it. Um okay, so we wanna click right click and add. Uh there's a whole load of options you can choose. Um, if you've ever seen people with logos on the side of the screen, it's as simple as clicking image. Click OK, we're not going to name that, we're just going to click browse, select any old thing for me. I'm going to use my logo, which is Slickstorm. Click OK. And now I've got my logo on the screen. Um, if that's not good enough, you can even have something like a slideshow. You may have seen these as well, which is a really fun thing to do, is to do exactly what I just did then. Found my logo, and then you can also have something else, like maybe a second logo, or a sponsor, or anything you want it to say. Um, I'll use my second logo, which is my photography and cinema brand you can check out uh, called Andrew J. Clifton Photography and Cinematography. I always forget which way around it is. And uh, yeah, we'll place this up here. And now you'll notice after 10 seconds, this will change into the other logo, just like that. Which is really cool because now, like for the entirety of the stream, you don't have to do anything, it'll just be switching 
That's weird. No, it's Supermax. Wow. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Got that right. Anyway, um. <laughs> See, back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy gadgets. We just had to walk around the battlefield and crouch when we needed to, and then... It sure is spooky out here. Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like a scary, scary punk, punk ghost. ghost. 